uh, memory is a, a, a big problem. Um, I was a very early uptaker of digital technology. Um, I got an electronic diary, Casio electronic diary, like, you know, way back in the, in the yeah. a 80s. Late 80s, I think it would have been. And maybe the very beginning of the 90s. And it gave me alerts to remind me of things. And I knew there and then that I could work with that. That would be a great tool. That would be a great gift to me in my life. And from there on, because before that, I used to keep a, a pocket diary, you know, like a um, filofax type thing. And I used to have to go through every day my list of things, the jobs that needed doing. And if I didn't complete them, if I didn't do them that day, I had to write the ones I hadn't done into the next day. And I, if and if I didn't do that, I couldn't cope because I couldn't rely on myself to remember things unless I had a visual cue or um, you know something that would physically remind me. And then obviously the, the natural progress from that has been into things like the Apple phones and uh, I have the Apple Watch now as well. And these things just give me all of those reminders. So I'm very organized. I have to be extremely disciplined at putting things into my diary. I can never rely on myself to remember anything. And the problem that I face is that my job as a stand-up comedian requires being able to remember a lot of stuff. And um, so I have to give myself visual cl clues. Um, so one of the first things that I took to was using a clipboard on stage. And I made this part of the act. It was like the, you know, the character had to use a clipboard. But that just gives you an idea. I mean, n normally nowadays I've just got everything written on the back of my hand. And a lot of comics will tell you that they write their set on the back of their hand with a few cues, you know. Um, but they never use it. It's just a comfort blanket. I always use mine. I have to use it, you know.